Hey you guys, welcome back. This is Dee from Simply D Beauty. Today's video is my October favorites, as you can tell by the title. I did not have a lot of favorites during this month, but they're very good favorites. So I was really excited to share them with you. So let's start. The first thing I want to show you is skincare. I only have one item under the skincare category. And this is from Peter Thomas Roth, the Water Drench Hyaluronic Cloud Cream Hydrating Moisturizer. This feels so good on the skin. It is so refreshing as the name implies. It's like a drench of water, very moisturizing. It feels really good on the skin, very light. It does have like a fluffy texture. Let me open it up to show you. It has like a little a fluffy texture, like sort of like a gel. But it's not greasy or nothing like that. It's really, really light and it feels really good. I like to wear it under makeup so it doesn't do anything to the makeup. It doesn't affect it. And I also like to wear it either in the morning or even as overnight, like an overnight mask kind of thing. I just put it on at night after I do all my skincare and I go to bed with it and it feels really, really good. And my skin wakes up refreshed and very supple. So I do recommend it and it was my favorite of, one of my favorites of this month. The next one I want to show you is a foundation. Um, I only got to try uh, this foundation this month, if I'm not mistaken. And I really did like it, so I'm going to share it with you. It is a Sisley Paris Fido Tint Nude. It's not as... Um, probably not as hydrating as the other one that I tried from this brand but I do like it and I did want to include it in my favorites because it does feel really good on the skin it's light coverage the way I like it it doesn't dry up my skin because I do have dry skin but it doesn't dry it up and I feel that it's doing something really good on my skin because my, my skin looks much better after I take it off it doesn't have any fragrance it just f feels really good I don't like the applicator maybe because i'm not used to it i was expecting maybe a you know something i could pump even a dofo applicator but this one doesn't have any of that so that's kind of a bummer but the packaging is otherwise is really pretty and i do like the cap and it's just very nice and because it's sisley paris it does have skincare benefits which of course i love so the next thing i want to show you are two eyeshadow palettes that i received or that i tried this month and i loved first is the byredo metal what's it called metal boots in the snow i love the packaging it's so different the first thing that caught my eye was the packaging and this is what it looks like inside it is beautiful metallic shimmers when i swatch it on my hands it wasn't really promising but once i applied it to the eyes it was extraordinary i love the way it looked i did do a video on this eyeshadow palette and um, you could check that out in my channel. I'm going to try to put it at the end so you guys could see that. As well as I did a full day review of the Sisley Paris Foundation, which I also did for my channel. And the next eyeshadow palette, I also did a review on it on my channel, of course. This is the Dior for the Fall Collection. The, the Atelier of Dreams palette. This one is the Doré. I know they came out with two. I didn't get the other one. I only picked up this one. I love this eye sh this quint. It's not a, it's not a quad. It's a quint. I just love it. Love it. It's beautiful colors. I'm not gonna swatch it now because again I did a video on it, and you have probably seen it in other videos. I just love this beautiful colors. It's um well they're they're both they're both beautiful but different because these has blues and greens. This is more neutral. It has more browns and and gold. And there was barely any fallout and the the design. It's just so beautiful. It's like reminiscent of the of the store in Paris. It's just so beautiful. I don't know if you could pick it up. I love that. It, it there was no fallout on the on the face. They blend it beautifully. I know that I'm gonna use this quint many times in the future as well as the Byredo one. They're just a little bit different because again, this is more it has a silver and the blues and the greens, and this is more neutral. Um, kind of more like an everyday look more than the other one in my personal opinion but they're both lovely and speaking of Dior I did pick up two of the lipsticks they came out they came out with a few lipsticks but of this design I think they came out with just four I picked up two the 074 the Rose Diver and, Ro and 075 the Rouge Capuchin I love the packaging. I always mention the packaging because I'm a sucker for packaging. It is different than the other Dior lipsticks. 
let me show you the lipsticks inside this is 074 it's more like a nude color it has nude compared to the other one it has some pink and some brown it was it's a beautiful color that um, I said in my video that it was a matte but they're not matte they're, they're satin they're semi satin and uh, they're not complete satin they have um, between satin and a matte but they don't dry my lips which is really important for me and it's a beautiful beautiful color it has some rose in it some pink some brown and the other one it has more red that's why it's called rouge capuchin it has uh, more red to it it's also a very beautiful color again it has the atelier design on the bullet and it's just a beautiful red if you want to see swatching on my hand and also on my lips i recommend that video to you so you can see it live for like first hand i love them both i had to include them because they're both beautiful speaking of lipsticks i'm gonna talk about this lipstick which I did mention my favorites in my um, Instagram reels, I'm sorry, Instagram stories, and I didn't mention this one because I honestly forgot at that moment to, to talk about it, but it is a relatively new lipstick. It's a new lipstick for me, but it's not new to the market. It is from Chanel. It is the Rouge Coco Flash 54, the shade Boy. It's the one I'm wearing, wearing now. It's like almost unperceptible, but I, 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 I see it. And they feel so good on the lips. It's a beautiful nude color. Let me show you the bullet. I love the Coco Flash formulas and the Coco Blooms and the Coco Rouge, the Allures. They're all beautiful formulas. It's a beautiful brown nude everyday color. You could even put like a darker, a little bit, uh, an eyeliner is a little bit darker and put it around and then just spread this in the middle and it's, it's a beautiful beautiful color i like to wear it by itself just the way i have it now i just love it it feels good it's a beautiful color um i love it i had to recommend it and put it in my october favorites although it's not a new product because i i didn't mention in the beginning but what i like to mention in the beginning of all my favorites videos that for me a favorite it's an item that I discovered in the month of October or in the month that I'm talking about it. it doesn't have to necessarily be a new product but it's a new product to me and I've used it a few times at least you know around two weeks or so to be able to say to you that it's my favorite for the month and I've used it for a few days I loved it and the next item I want to talk about is brushes now if you see my videos before you know that I love the BK Beauty brushes and she came out with a new brush set let me pick them up as I speak a new brush set in collab with Angie hot and flashy and they're intended for mature skin but honestly I mean I don't have mature skin just yet I'm barely uh, be 40 next month um, I don't think I am mature skin but I think they're perfect for any type of skin and I do have to wash them but this is the way they look they have the grays um, the gray handle typically the BK Beauty is like a wine red a burgundy red but this one is um is gray and the brushes are all wonderful I'm gonna just speak about one of them in particular this is a concealer brush it has a perfect size and it has this, the, the, the bend which is really good to get to the small spaces under the eye but they're all wonderful brushes I really like them they're synthetic um, but they're great for like cream products and things like that so I do recommend it I wanted to include them and finally this is not a makeup item but I do want to talk about it because I think it's relevant it is from Jo Malone this is the wood the body and hand wash in the scent wood sage and sea salt I started using it a couple of weeks ago I you know I just started but I could tell you that it's my one of my favorite soaps that I've tried the fragrance I just washed my hands so I could smell it it's like a little bit of masculine it's just but not too masculine it just smells so good. I smell the, the wood and the sage. It's just a beautiful scent. Um, like all the jo, jo Malone scents that I I have. I do have like a, I got like a sample of different scents in the last Nordstrom sale. And I have this one also as a perfume. So I do put it on at, from time to time. But as a hand soap, it's really good. I don't use it as a body wash. Because I don't like masculine body wash for me for my body for my husband of course but for my hands I don't mind and even perfume I don't mind but like the, the body wash I like it to be more like a fresh scent 
especially since I shower. I usually shower before going to bed. I like to smell fresh, not like a man, you know what I mean? But I do, I do love it as a perfume and I do love it as a hand soap. So I do recommend this as well. It's just wonderful. It is a big, big uh, tub. It's going to last me for a long, long time, which is, which is good. So this is pretty short but these were my favorites of the month of october i loved everything that i've mentioned today of course obviously that's why i included them and i am very excited for november because i have received a few new items that i am excited to try and let's see if they end up as my november favorites who knows let me know in the comments below if you tried any of these products if you liked them if you didn't like them please be honest with me and let me know i would love to hear from you guys i want to thank you for coming by if you like this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't done so already and i'll see you guys next time bye